years. The man honing this hook by hand is Captain Mark Martin, who says sharp hooks helped nearly 75 of his customers last year land Stroh's Award walleye. Losing less fish with sharp hooks is something that caused Bing McClellan from Traverse City to come up with an automated sharpener. Probably takes an average fisherman maybe 30 seconds, a minute maybe, to sharpen a hook. One point. One point on one hook, which mm -hmm. might take you know, five minutes to sharpen all the hooks here, and of course they can easily get damaged on rocks, right. snags. Absolutely. You came up with an invention how to sharpen all these in 30 seconds. Well, it's a, it's a very simple tool. It's called a hook honer, and that's indeed exactly what it is. It hones the hooks rather than, than grinds metal off as, as hones or sharpeners or files type wood. Is this because you, of course, you spend so darn much time fishing? Mm -hmm. And you know sharp hooks are really the key to catching a lot of fish. Well, that's right. That's one of the few things, aside from motherhood, you can't argue about. <laughs> that's right. This little gizmo, interesting, you have the prototype here. Yep. This, it was developed, what, a year ago? 1987, January 14th was the first time I saw it. Uh, I had commissioned a guy about a year earlier to try to mechanically give me a perfect hook point, mm -hmm. one that is lapped and polished instead of sharpened with a file. You know, the funny thing that, that fishermen don't realize, or anglers, that when you have light line, like two pound test line that I've been fishing with today, yeah. the strength of that knot is probably closer to one pound mm -hmm. than two pounds. So when yeah. you go to set the hook on a fish, you're pulling actually with less than one pound right. of force. Right. And, and even if you're using six pound test, you're probably pulling, mm -hmm. most you can get out of it is two pounds of force. Yeah. Now, how often though, should you really sharpen your hook? Say you catch a fish on it, well, or you get snagged, would you, would you sharpen it every time? No, good heavens, no. How often? I'd just do the thumbnail test every so often during the day I'm oh. fishing. And if it, if it skids on my thumbnail, I touch it up. Now, okay, one, show me that dude, uh, uh, on your thumbnail, okay. how are you gonna? Well, a properly sharpened point, let me get this, thing tuned up here. How hard are you pushing down Oh, that? not hard at all. You're just holding it in place. There's no... See? That's right. Just There's take, no secret to it, eh? Take a minute here. Let's look at this prototype and see what happens inside this. This baby rotates around and buzzes. Yeah, it's lapping the hook point back and forth. 300 times a second, while it rotates around the hook point three times a second. So put the hook point there where it would be okay, well, if we were sharpening this. All right. And it goes around yeah. like that. It, rota it orbits the hook point. So now you have it sharpened. Now how do you know when it's the way you want it? Well, take your th fingernail or thumbnail, and if you can do that, and it doesn't skid off, just barely yep. touch your hook, uh, hook point to your nail, and if it'll stick, it's sharp enough. Stick right there, whoa wee. Yeah, now try one of the other hooks that hasn't been sharpened. Okay, and you can tell by looking at them yeah, that they right. don't have, if they've been sharpened, they're real s silver. Look at that, I can't even get that factory point. Right, right. Well, well that's, that's kind of. That's a brand new Rapala right out of the box. I, I cannot dig that into my fingernail. Mm -hmm. I can they... scratch with it, and it feels sharp, yeah. and it hurts. And it looks sharp. And it looks sharp, but it doesn't do what this one does catching on the fingernail. Mm -hmm. Wow. Our mutual friend, Emil Dean, ran in some tests on us on a, with a prototype last year. And if there's anything harder to do is because sharp hooks make more importance in downrigger fishing than anything. Oh yeah, because you're trolling. Because you can't set the hook. Yeah, the fish has to set, set it. Set it for you. Yeah. yeah. And his hook catch versus line pop-off percentage went up 50% after he sharpened all the hooks. 50%, that makes it 50 You know, I believe it, uh, when I sharpened just the hook on this lure, mm -hmm. caught two fish in a row, bang, bang. You know, they weren't slipping. Yeah. I think that that does. If it can stick to your, stick to your skin, stick to your fingernail, mm -hmm. it's gotta stick that much more inside a fish's mouth. In fishing, there's only one thing that is totally, two things that are totally common, water and sharp hooks. Mm -hmm. Because a fisherman, literally cannot fish without a hook. He cannot. He can fish fly fishing, he can fish spin casting, he can fish salt water, but he gotta have a hook. He's gotta have water. How, how did you... Bing McClellan certainly boiled fishing down to the Around. basics. It doesn't matter if you use a battery-powered hook honer or if you use a diamond file to sharpen the points on your fish hooks. Your success will increase if the points are sharp like a surgeon's needle.
Mark Martin's success rate proved it, and when Emil Dean started using the battery-powered honer to keep the treble hook sharp on his lures, Emil's loss of fish because of hooking failures dropped in half. A significant lesson to all anglers in Michigan outdoors. Right. 